Hey, I'm Tom from Hansa Coffee. I'm really glad you guys are using our coffee. Um, we're very happy to provide it to you. Um, uh, this is your brand new Fetco coffee maker. Um, this um, this display, when your when the temperature isn't hot enough to brew, it will say low and then have a number. None of the buttons will work then. Um, so if you ever see it say low here and then a number, that means the coffee maker needs to heat back up. Um, we were trying to catch it on camera, but we missed it. Um, this is uh, this is called a Fetco Air Pot, and what this is is it's your craft that you're going to brew your coffee into. There are a couple tricks of this. Uh, device that you're going to need to learn. First off is that this drip tray will not pull out generally. You need to actually release it with the clip back here and this will pull right out. Okay, So uh, that is something you'll need to know. There's a spout here. These will actually, when they're full of water, um, uh, you'll need to push it down to hold it down like that. It will just drip. Um, otherwise, you know, it will just, it will drip that way. To open these, um, you need to push these two together, lift up. This in here is actually needs to be removed if you're going to um, if you want to look inside. If you're going to be cleaning this or if you're going to be um, dumping coffee out, you're going to need to actually take this piece out. This piece should never ever go underwater. You can wipe it off, but it should never be submerged in water because uh, it will break this sensor here, which tells you how much coffee you have brewed into it. Another very important piece of this device is this piece up here. You cannot brew coffee, let me put this back together really quick, you cannot brew coffee when this is closed like that. This needs to be open to brew, okay? And so what this is, is if say you're going to take this upstairs to a group or, or move it somewhere and you don't want to lose the heat out of it, you can open this up and do that. Otherwise with this thing, this needs to be well, I've seen a lot of people brew coffee onto that, so this needs to be open, okay? Next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about your filters, which are down here, um, will be next to your coffee. These filters, they go into your basket like so, okay? These clips need to go over the filter. What this does is it prevents the... Um, filter from actually falling over in on itself while the coffee is brewing. Next important tool you guys have is this blue scoop. This blue scoop um, corresponds to how much coffee you're brewing. And if you come here and look on the brewer, two scoops is this button, one scoop is this button, you don't use this button ever. Okay? So we'll come back over here to the, uh, to the, to the filter. So you've got two kinds of coffee here. You have regular Baltic Gold and decaf Trom. Um, the Trom is always going to be the blue label. So you can take your scoop, you're going to go in the bag and scoop out two big scoops of coffee. And you can even be very generous with how many scoops. Last thing, settle the filter. What you're going to do is shake it. What that does is it evens the coffee out into one layer. If, if you were just to dump coffee in here and not shake this, the coffee would taste bad. So you need to settle it into, into the, like that. So we'll come back over here to our brewer. I know that this pot is empty, okay? I just emptied this pot. If there is any clicks on here, any dots on there, that means there's water or coffee in it. You have to empty this, okay? So come over here, push that in. Make sure that the hole is lined up uh, underneath the spout there. And then since I used two scoops, to make a full pot, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna hold this down until it clicks. This will actually, you can't just press it, you have to hold it down. Listen to this sound. The red button will come on. You need to hold the button down, okay? Now, this will take about four minutes to brew. Last thing is, when you come over and say you need to empty one of these, you're gonna need to take um, the, fill, the tray out and empty it like this into the sink, okay? Um, if you have it full and you don't want to wait, you can actually remove everything like I showed you and then dump it. But it's going to be much easier to just empty it like that and walk away and let it drain into the sink. Um, the last thing is, if you ever have any problems with your coffee maker, uh, it's doing something weird or, or something happens and you, you need my help, 
Um, you can call me at the store in Libertyville or call me on my cell phone at 312-945-9363. Once again, 312-945-9363. I will answer my cell phone and walk you through any problems or we'll come out and help you fix whatever problem you're having. So thank you so much for using our coffee. We're really happy to provide it for you guys. And uh, come see us in our Little Reveal store or our store like Bluff. Thanks.